fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order. And whenever men gathered around the frontier campfires, stories were told of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness. No greater champion of justice can be found in the pages of history. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Osage. There's going to be trouble. Oh, Silver, away! Twenty men on horseback and three great covered wagons started down the main street of Osage with Jonathan Gard and his daughter Sally riding at the head of the column. Bill Palmer and Buck Riley watched them from the sidewalk. Well, that's a funny looking wagon train. What's funny about it? Those hombres don't look like homesteaders. You're right. There ain't no homesteaders heading where they're going. They're cowboys, sure enough. Sure enough. And what's the idea of the wagons? Well, you've got to have wagons to carry supplies. You mean to say all three of those wagons are loaded with supplies? All for one ranch? All for one ranch. Wow. <laughs> That's where I want to work. Yeah? Don't you know who that big fella is riding in front? Can't waste my time looking at him. If that girl belongs on the ranch, that is where I want to work. Now, listen. <laughs> you want folks to start calling you Wild Bill again? No, sir. Right now, I'm thinking of getting married and settling down for good. You got as much chance of marrying Sally Gard as a snowball in the desert. Sally Gard? The same. And that's Jonathan Gard riding beside her. Now, what do you think he'd say if a Palmer asked to marry his daughter? Oh, that old feud don't mean nothing to me. I left Texas when I was a kid. Jonathan Gard ain't forgot it. Palmer's just another name for poison, as far as he's concerned. All right, then I'll use some other name. Porter. That's what I'll call myself. Bill Porter. Bill? I'm going out to that ranch and get myself a job. Oh, no, you can't. How far is it? A hundred miles. Well, you must have heard of the Bar G. Jonathan Gard owns the Bar G? Yep, biggest ranch in the West. Covers a county. There's guards riding the boundaries all the time, and nobody sets foot on the land without Jonathan say so. They say he rules a spread like a king. He must need plenty of men. Got over a hundred. That's all that matters to me. I'm a top hand and I'm looking for a job. Well, there's somebody there might know you. You coming with me or you staying here? Hey, now look, let's let's have a drink and talk this over. Oh, I've given up drinking. You have gone loco. It ain't right for a man that's planning to get married. If you try it, if you so much as ask Sally Guard, the old man will have you strung up to the nearest tree. He might have Palmer, but not Bill Porter. Come on, Buck. They must eat good at the bar, G, with all those supplies. 
Let's catch up with them when they make camp for the night and ask for a job. You are uh, set on doing this? I'm set on getting married. She's the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Just gone loco, that's all. Are you riding with me or not? I reckon. If there ain't somebody along that can still use her brains, you'll stick your head in the noose. <laughs> and I ain't fooling. <laughs> You're asking for plenty trouble. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had made their camp not far from Osage. During the afternoon that Tonto spent in town buying supplies, the masked man taught the son of silver what was expected of him when his rider used a lariat. Come on, boy. I'm going to rope that rock. And this time, I'm not even going to touch the reins. You know what you're supposed to do, don't you? Of course. That's it, boy. Steady. Back. Back quick. Now brace yourself. That's it. I'll take the rope off. Good work, young fella. You're coming along fine. Hip. How about that, Silver? He ought to be able to take care of himself around cattle, shouldn't he? <laughs> I think you're right. There isn't another colt like him in the state. Well, in the West, then. Here's Tonto coming back. You get the saddle off the youngster. Hi, Kimasabi. Hi. You've ridden fast, Tonto. Ah. Uh, maybe plenty of trouble. In town? Ah. Uh. Wild Bill Palmer there. Young Bill? Old Brent Palmer's son from Wyoming? That's right. We heard that Jonathan Guard was in Osage, too. Did they meet? Not yet. Boy like girl. Him go to Bar G, try get job. A Palmer asking Jonathan Guard for a job? Ah. Uh, me hear him. Him use other name. Catch up with Bar G crew on trail. They've left town then? Ah. Uh, I don't like it. Bill may get his job, but if Guard ever finds out... That's what Tonto afraid of. We'll go after them, Tonto, as soon as it gets dark. Ah. Uh, we take Colt? Of course. We may have to follow them all the way to the ranch. That's a hundred miles away. It's time we rode back to the camp, Dell. Well, not yet, Sally. I've got to make my bed in one of the wagons, and I'm sleepy. You'd make your pa awful happy if you married me. I'm turning around. He's as much as told me so himself. I'm his foreman. Trust me with all the money matters. He'd like to think there was somebody capable in charge of the ranch when it's time for him to go. You want me to tell you the truth, Dell? The truth? I don't even like you. Well, And what's you... more, I don't think you like me. Well, that isn't true. The only reason you want to marry me is that I'll get the ranch someday. You're all wrong, Sally. That isn't half of it. Paul trusts you, but I think you're cheating him blind. You ever said anything like that to him? <laughs> I've got more sense. You better have. He's stubborn about the people he likes and don't like. So if I'm right, I'm just going to let time prove it. If you don't marry me, Sally, you ain't going to marry nobody. <laughs> Get up, Bess. Oh, wait, wait a minute. This is the last minute I'll ever spend alone with you. Hi there. A couple of men up ahead. They aren't our boys. I can see them. Pilgrims, maybe. Listen, your pa calls himself the sheriff and the judge of Guard County. Directly takes the law into his own hands. Someday he'll go too far. Stop and then... a minute, will you? What do you want? We were looking for Mr. Burton, Miss Sally. They told us at camp he rode out this way. What do you want? Just a job for me and my partner. We're not taking on any men. Let's go, Bill. No. Pa said tonight you should have picked up another two hands in Osage, Dell. If Mr. Burton won't give you a job, boys, go and see my pa. That's and... enough. Well? You two know your job? Sure thing. We're top hands. Then I'll sign you on. Forty a month and found. Thanks. Thanks to you, Miss Sally. You're welcome, Mr. Bill. The name's Bill Porter. I hope you'll make good. Good night. Hasta mañana. <laughs> Just remember, mister, mañana never comes. I've never seen a fence so long. It stretches for miles. It goes around the whole ranch, even on the south. Why do you say even? Oh, we don't really need it. That's rough country beyond. No one ever comes up here from the south. Well, outlaws might. Trail's too much for them. Oh, there's Irish. Hello? Welcome back, Miss Sally. Is he a guard? Yes. There are 20 gates, and there's a guard at every one. Well, you're in guard county now, Bill. <laughs> Is that a joke? <laughs> Not for anyone who tries to get past him. Uh-oh, here comes Paul. What's the meaning of this, Porter? 
What do you mean, Mr. God? You're supposed to be ahead of the wagons. Burton told me to ride back here. That's true, Paul. Yeah. And you needn't get mad at Bill because he's talking to me. That was my fault. Uh, own up, Paul. It was Dell that sent you back here, wasn't it? We'll discuss it later. And here it comes now. I'm hey, going to find... He's holding a gun on Buck. What's the idea? Guard, this hombre won't obey orders. What right's he got to make me give up my gun? You're in Guard County now. I'm the deputy sheriff. I don't see no badge. I'm the sheriff, Riley. Burton's my deputy. You haven't covered Dell. Take his gun. Right. <coughs> you give me that back. All your other hands carry guns. Yeah, we know him better than we know you. You'll get it back when you learn to obey orders. Hand over you as two, Porter. Not without a fight, I won't. Bill, please. Sure, you have to have a lesson to learn, too, eh? I don't mind obeying orders when there's some sense to them. But when you're both under arrest. Arrest? Yes. As judge of God County, I sentence you to ten days in jail. As judge, you're no more judge than I am. You got no right it to won't do this. Do you any good to argue, Bill? I got you covered, Mister. So there's a jail on the ranch. A good, strong one. And that's where you're going to stay for the next ten days. Make any trouble, now change the sentence to a month. Take him along with you, Dale. <laughs> Hello. Hunter, find place, get past guard. Where? Gate to south. Guards sleep there. Good. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. The cold isn't coming. Call him, Silver. <laughs> uh, now him follow us. You know what lies beyond the fence, Tonto. Is there any cover near the ranch house? Ah. Uh, we make camp in woods plenty, plenty close. Fine. Faster, boy. Get him up, scout. Sally? Yes. Well, I almost wish you hadn't come here tonight. Why? Your paw. He sees you. He finds out you've been talking to us through the bars. Oh, you're afraid he'll, he'll make you stay here longer. Oh, that isn't it at all. I'm only afraid for you. Bill, I used to love my paw more than anyone else in the world. But I always knew that someday someone else would be first. Well, it it's happened. Sally. Listen, you two. I hear somebody riding this way. You better clear out, Sally. I will. Good night, Bill. Until tomorrow. I wonder who it can be. They're stopping around the front by the door. Two horses. Yeah. It must be Dell. And Dell and Jonathan himself. I got a letter for you, Bill. Letter? Yes. One of the boys stayed over in Osage to pick up the mail from the next stage. The postmaster said this was for you. Yeah. Really? It's addressed to Bill Palmer. Postmaster said that was you, that you'd come here to get a job. Oh, hey, it's a mistake. My name's Porter. There's no mistake. Uh, this letter's been opened. About time you noticed that. Who did it? I did. So you're Brent Palmer's son. Well? You had an uncle that was sheriff in Clayton County, Texas. Your grandpa was a judge. The two of them got together and framed my paw for cattle wrestling. I don't know anything about it. That was the start of the feud. But the score has never been settled. It was a long time ago. Too long. My paw was hanged. He must have been tried by a jury. He and... didn't have a chance with the Palmers working to get him. He was hanged, and I saw it. I swore the Palmers would pay, that someone would hang in his place to even things up. Look out, Jonathan. The sheriff of God County, I arrest you for murder. That's local. As judge, I sentence you to be hanged by the neck. Till you're dead. You're the murderer. You can't... At dawn tomorrow morning. There's a governor in this territory. He'll hear about this. Who's going to tell him? I will. You'll never get the chance. You'll hang, Palmer, like my pa did. May God have mercy on your soul. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. Jonathan Gard, the self-appointed sheriff and judge of Gard County, condemned young Bill Palmer to be hanged at daybreak. An hour later, Tonto reined up scout in the woods near the Gard ranch where the Lone Ranger had made his camp. You've ridden hard, Tonto. Something happened? Ah, uh, me watch like every night. Girl talk with Bill through window. Yes? Then her go away. Then two men ride up to jail. Go inside. They didn't see her? No. 
Try to get close and listen. Go on. It's Jonathan, girl's father. Him and Burton go inside jail. Them have letter. Them find out who Bill is. Then what? Jonathan say Palmer hang when day come. Hang? That's right. Bill hasn't committed any crime. This is just to even the score between the Palmers and the guards. Ah. Uh-huh. It's too far to bring help from Osage. Fort Cameron beyond Badland to south. We could never make it there and back by daybreak. Well, it's up to us, Tonto. Uh, you take plenty chance. Them see mask, not ask questions, shoot. It's the only way. We've got to save Bill Palmer's life. Getting light. You haven't said anything to Sally, have you? No, well, she's still in her bedroom. It'll be all over by the time she wakes up. You want to get started now? Why not? All right, boys, bring him out. I had to tell them a little different story. Why? You got no right to hang Palmer. They had no right to hang my paw. Oh, sure not. I'm with you all the way, Jonathan, but... Well, I've let the boys think we found out he was a killer wanted by the law. I want them to know the truth. You can't tell. I mean, I'd like... Take your hands off. That's it. Get him on board his cayuse. Lead the maverick over to the big tree. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. This is just as... The less they know about the details, the better. You better let me take care of Buck, too. He isn't a Palmer. He threatened to go to the governor. Let him. I'll let him start, maybe. You'll get no order from me to kill him. All right, that's the way you feel about it. Oh, oh boy, who are they? Throw the rope over the limb. Bill! It's Sally. Get back in the house. Paul, what are you doing? We're seeing justice is done. You gave Billy to hang him. What for? You can't hang a man just because he don't obey your orders. It's murder, Sally. You're paying for a murder. You're a Palmer. A Palmer? We just found out last night. He's Brent Palmer's son. And you're hanging him just for that? He's an outlaw and a killer. That's a lie. You don't have to tell me. Irish, cut those ropes on his hands. I'm giving the orders around here. Look, a masked man. Hiding straight for the trees. Boys, one of his outlaw friends come to rescue him. Open fire. Don't raise your gun, Irish. Bill isn't a killer. Lift yourself out of the saddle, Bill. Open fire. Don't, boys. I'll do it myself. He did it. Lift him clean out of the saddle. He won't get away. Yes, he will. Let go of my arm. Put up your gun, Dale. What's that? He's gone. I don't know, but maybe I'm glad he got away. Thank goodness. Mass men say Bill's life stopped you from being a murderer. This hasn't been settled yet. They're still on the ranch. He'll never get past the guards. Say the word, Jonathan, I'll bring him back. Realize. Oh. He's a palmer. All right. Go right. after him. Boys, we're going after those crooks. All right, we're going. We'll wait here until tonight, Bill. Then we can get past the guards at the south. Ah. But I don't want to leave. You don't want to? Well, not by myself. Buck's still in jail there. I heard Dell threaten to kill him. I can't leave him behind. Buck's in no danger from Jonathan. It was Dell threatened him. Well, we might be able to manage it tonight. Both Silver and Scout can carry double. Well, there's a cold, too. I wouldn't want anyone as heavy as you to ride him over the trail we'll have to follow. Well, I wasn't thinking of anyone as heavy as me. Buck weighs more than you do. But Sally doesn't. I can't leave her behind, either. But how do you know she wants to go with you? I do, that's all. I'm much obliged for getting my neck out of that noose mass man, but... Well, I've got to talk with Sally again. If you go back to the ranch, you'll be caught. I can try it late tonight if Tonto would lend me his horse. You'd better leave it to Tonto and me. I can't ask you to risk your life. Stay here with the colt. We'll get Buck. And Sally? If she wants to come, we'll bring her too. The window. Could Bill have... Man. Quiet, Sally. I have a note from Bill. There's enough light from the moon to read it. Bill and the boys only got back an hour ago. They've been looking for you all day. I know. I'll read the note. The Lone Ranger. Go on. He, he wants me to go with him. What's your answer? I will. I'll be ready in five minutes. We have to get Buck out of jail. I know where the keys are. Can you get them? I'll try. Give me five minutes. <laughs> I'm going in with you. There. It's all right, Buck. A masked man. He's the Lone Ranger. We're all going to get away from here together. What about horses? You can ride with Tonto and Bill can ride with me. We have a colt for Sally. There's plenty of horses in the corral. The corral's too close to the bunkhouse. Pa and Dell and the boys are there. We can't waste any more time. Come on. Bill. What's the matter, boss? Well, they was over here. They came and got Buck out of jail. Well, they couldn't have. That isn't all. They've kidnapped Sally. Kidnapped her? Do you hear that, boys? 
Have you got any doubts about there being crooks now? No, no, no. Then strap on your guns and pull on your boots. We'll bring them back this time, dead or alive. at Fort Cameron, Sally. We have to cross the Badlands to get there. The masked man says it's the only way we can escape. Here's the coat, Sally. Oh, he's a beauty. But the saddle, masked man. It's all right. Tano fixed it up. You won't have to worry. I won't have any trouble handling him, will I? He's developing into one of the finest horses I've ever ridden. Try him. Here, I'll help you up. Uh, thank you. Kim's tubby. Men come from ranch. Some head for woods. We're ready. Hip. Up behind me, Bill. I'll give you a hand. Get up there. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. I can see the man. We're far enough ahead to be out of range. We're coming to the south gate. There'll be a guard. He likes to sleep. He isn't asleep, though. Look. Right up, or I'll shoot. It's Sally, Tim. You better have my gun ready. Leave it to me. A masked man and an engine. All right, up. We can't take any chances on your being hit, Sally. Oh. Shot the gun right out of his hand. Oh, Scott, oh, oh Silver Moon. Get the gate, Tonto. Oh, be good. Hurry, Tonto, they're coming. Ah. Once the gate was passed, the little band raced across the level ground between the fence and the Badlands. They had lost time at the gate, and Jonathan and his men had gained on them. Now the trail began to climb, but neither Silver nor Scout slackened their pace, and the gallant son of Silver battled to keep his black-starred head on equal terms with theirs. On through the night they thundered along the trail, but always behind them came the answering thunder from the mounts of their pursuers. Fast man! What is it? I'm not sure about this trail, but isn't there a canyon that cuts across it? You can see it just ahead. We'll have to go all the way at the bottom. We'll be in range climbing up the other side. The opening's narrow at the top. No silver and scout can jump it. Carry and double? Even carry and double. What about the coast? Rain up, rain up, Tonto. Oh, oh, Scott, oh, oh. The coast never jumped with a rider before, Sally, but I'm sure he can make it. He's Silver's son. But there's no other way. There is another way. We can take the trail to the bottom of the canyon. We can keep out of range by following it to the west. Then what's to be gained? Your father and his men aren't in sight yet. They won't believe we took the jump and they'll follow the other trail. We'd be safe. Yes. But we won't try it if you're afraid. How could I be afraid riding a colt like this? Come on, boy. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. She's taking the lead. I'll get Silver alongside of them. It'll help the youngster. Not too fast, Sally. Let him have his head at the rim. I know. It's no easy jump if you ask me. It's looking wider and wider every minute. No. Uh, up there, uh, Scout. Good boy. We made it. Oh, Silver. Away. Just at daybreak, Jonathan, Dell, and the men from the Bar G Ranch plunged down a wooded slope at the southern edge of the Badlands. At last, the trees were left behind, and then... Put the... Hold up! Oh, hold it! Oh. Oh. the flag over that stockade. Yeah, it's Fort Cameron. They made it. I'm going on. You can't. Sally's in there. I'm taking her home with me. Just try it, and Palmer will tell the colonel what you try to do to him. He kidnapped my daughter. You don't really believe that. Of course I believe it. You're loco. She's in love with him. They want to get married. Nothing in the law against that? You go near that fort, you'll end up in jail. There's somebody riding out of the fort. Let's go back. I am no coward. Hey, it's the mask man, the engine. Now's our chance to even things up. There's a cool one alongside him. Sure. I'd never let him ride out of the fort like that if he was not law. Hurry, Tonto. I... Come on, Silver. What? An engine named Toto and a mask man on a horse called Silver. What? That must be the Lone Ranger. I know who he was the first time I saw him. Sure, that's the Lone Ranger. Then put down your gun. Not in your life. Sally wouldn't have got away if it hadn't been for him. He spoiled things for me, and I aim to get even. I can pick him off now. And I can pick you off. Oh, hey, hey, hey that hey. horse knocked you clean out of his saddle. Pick him up, Irish. Stop him, Toto. Now me get him. You don't have to do that. We'll see that he gets home without making any more trouble. I have some news for you, Jonathan. You mean about Sally? That's part of it. And they've been married by the chaplain. Sally would like you to come inside the fort and give them your blessing. Well, if the boy's her choice, then he's all right with me. Now you're talking. It was Del Budden kept stirring things up. I was crazy not to have seen it before. I guess bygones should be bygones. Sometimes, Jonathan. Only sometimes? I have some more news. What? Are those ropes tight, Tonto? Ah, oh, plenty. 
Nell here has been selling the colonel a hundred head of cattle every month. Hey. Sally didn't seem to think you knew anything about it. Hey, that dirty crook, I'll see that he's hanged. No, you won't. Haven't you learned your lesson, Jonathan? What lesson? That you have no right to take the law into your own hands. That you'll only get into trouble if you try it. Well, somebody's got to... That's the colonel's job in this territory. Make your charges to him and he'll take care of Dell. Yes, it's a good idea. Get him on his horse. Move him along, boys. Get up there. So long, mess friend. Adios. (laughs) That ride last night make not make Son of Silver tired. Him want to travel, huh? (laughs) Silver feels the same way about it. All right, boy, let's go. Get him up, scout. Oh, Silver! Hooray! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>